Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an anchor link, also known as a jump link, using Generate Blocks. This is when you click on a particular link and it takes you down to a section on the page rather than to a new page. I'll show you how. So here's a home page I have set up and what you'll see is down here at the bottom of the page we have a contact form. And what I'd like to do is when users select contact us for it to just jump to that form at the bottom of the page. So let's go ahead and edit this page at the top, open in a new tab. And we need to do two things in order to achieve this. So first is setting a ID on the container of the section that you want it to jump to. And this ID is going to become that link that we're going to insert on the contact button. So scroll down to the bottom and select the outermost container uh, for the section you want to jump to. Now that when you have that container selected, come down to the right hand sidebar, scroll all the way down to it advanced. And as you can see right here, the first option is an HTML anchor. We'll select, uh, you know, enter any whatever text you want here. We're going to just type contact for our anchor. So now that that's set up, scroll back to the top of your page, select your contact us button, click the link and just do a pound sign contact. And that's going to automatically jump that link down to that section. So hit update, come back to our home page, refresh, and there it goes, jumped right down to the page. We'll do that again so you can see it. There it goes. Now you can also apply this to not just outer sections, but individual headline blocks too. So if we wanted to change this, we could remove uh, the anchor from the container we could come to the headline and still have the same exact option so we can enter the contact here um, update it and it'll still work exactly the same as before so uh, because this section is at the bottom of the page it's not quite scrolling down but normally what happens is if it's a section in the middle of a page um, that container would be at the very top of the page so that that's what they see first and it scrolls to now what I'll also show you is how to insert this anchor link into your navigation menu. Oftentimes people use a navigation menu to use these anchor links uh, to create a larger field to their navigation that there's more to the website than there really is, uh, but it's just jumping to certain sections of a particular page. So to add this link uh, to our navigation, you'll notice um, when we select that contact button and it jumps into the anchor link that we created your url changes and it amends it so the pound sign contact is at the end of the url so what you can do easily is just go ahead and copy that url and keep it handy so we can add that to our navigation so if we go to appearance menus and we can go to custom links we're going to say URL, paste in our anchor link URL, and type in what you want the button to say. I'll say contact us. I'll move this up one. Say save menu. Now come back to your website, and you'll see there's our contact us button. You click it, and it jumps right to the section. So. This can be helpful, as I said, to expand your navigation uh, and utilize the different areas of your website that might be important to you to call attention to. All right, so that's a quick overview of how to insert anchor links or jump links into your website using Generate Blocks and into your navigation. Hope it's useful.